Yo, what's up guys and welcome to a Death Stranding video. My name is MrFreeze2244 and in this video I'll be showing you um, an easy way or basically best way of dealing with BTs when it comes to sneaking past them. Now the, one of the hardest parts in the... One of the hardest parts in the entire game is actually rearing the very one of the very start locations. You will have a, uh, a delivery to a windmill farm and during that area we don't have any hematic grenades so we can't actually take on them with any kind of, kind of like physical force so we are relying on sneaking past them there's a lot of bts around this area and i just want to sort of guide you the way through there and show you some uh, things that i've learned over the course of playing the game now, this is a, a new game that i've started this is on hard mode it will get a little bit easier on the easier settings so if you set it on a different difficulty setting or even go down to very easy for example you'll get a lot less bts around the area so that's one thing. So if you are struggling with BTs or mules specifically as well, then if you lower the difficulty rating, uh, you will get uh, it's much more easier to sneak past all these things, and it's much more easy to bypass them because there's a lot less BTs. The the sight and sound is uh, a lot less um, a lot less sensitive when it comes to the, that's that's basically how they sort out the difficulty. But apart from that, that's not really much in the difficulty of that very much so let's just get down to where the area of the bts is and i can talk i can talk you straight through it so at the moment i'm at the top of the hill and i'm going to traverse down into the jungle area and that's where all the bts are going to be all around one thing you need to be making sure as well if you're going to start a mission that's going to involve getting past bts then i highly recommend going into your private room and boosting your stamina up to the highest you can by drinking the monster energy drinks so if you drink three of them you'll get a boost by 25 percent and it's important to make sure your BB, the um, the orange bar that you see at the bottom of the screen, you make, make sure it's at that maximum. And the basically way to do that is uh, if it's low, any lower than maximum, if you hold L1 and then push down, you can actually check on your BB. And if it's any lower, you can actually push square and soothe the BB by you know rocking your controller back and forth, and you'll be able to soothe the BB. So that's important because if it's low then it's really going to become more stressed and it's going to be less useful for you and they're going to be making a lot more crying noises and stuff like that it's going to attract a lot of bts so let's get into the area where the more fire is at the moment so we're at the top of the hill so there's a lot of strong wind at the moment i haven't actually been in this area on this gameplay yet so this is my first time traversing this area itself so let's just get down there So when you go down steep hills, I recommend holding L2 and R2 for that to make sure you are gripping both your uh, straps there like that. Now I remember what I did in my first gameplay of this area. I made sure I put uh, an anchor at that point down here. It's a good idea to actually tra traverse down this area. Another thing is, if you know you're going to encounter BTs around the area by surveying your map uh, when you start the mission, make sure you're not carrying too much cargo. Because if you get caught by one of these things, uh, they can knock all your stuff off. And uh, the more cargo you're holding, the less agile you're going to be. So the game there is to slow it down, to warn you that this BT is going to be in the area. Now, momentarily, your Odra deck is going to pop out, and that's going to start spinning. And once it starts spinning, it's going to be flashing white. And now how fast it flashes, and um, how fast it's blinking, it will tell you how close they are. So if you stand still, you'll be able to, uh, or should say sit still, you'll be able to see them a lot more clearly, and try and work your way around them that way. So let's get further deep into it. So here we go. So here's the cutscene telling you that there's BTs right in front of you. So, first things first, as soon as this pops out, you want to go ahead and crouch. If you're not seeing anything around you, do a quick scout on the Odra deck. The Odra deck's telling me that the BTs are in that, uh, that way, right in front of me, so I'm going to go in a different direction. The idea is you want to move quite slowly. You don't you want to stay crouched, or when you're going through this. Not necessarily always needed when they're that far away. It's blinking really slowly, so that means they're not that close to me right now. But as I move in, it's going to get faster and faster. As you can see, the Odra deck now blinking. So if you sit still again, there they are. So 
there's one behind the tree over there and there's a couple over there they're quite far away from me so i don't have to move too slowly so i'm gonna go in the middle again it starts blinking a little bit faster so i'm gonna stop again feel free to scan again to make it sure a little bit more visible so our path is clearly right in front of us here so that's where we're gonna go the idea is trying to stay away from as much as possible and the closer you get to them the slower you want to move So we're still fine for now, but we are getting very close to them now. But we're going to move even slower. Now it's starting to move now and spin. And it's going orange. So what you want to do is hold your breath as you move. So you're moving as slow as possible now. But make sure you don't stop, uh, ho um, hold your breath after the final bar. Because that's when he's going to take a deep breath. So make sure you release your breath before it reaches the final bar of that uh, stamina gauge. Now we've got past that section. Now it's slowing down a little bit, so we can still carry on moving ahead. Ideally, you want to be holding your breath as much as possible, really, but you don't want to keep running out of stamina. If you find yourself, your stamina losing down quite a lot, you want to go ahead and just stop, wait for it to recover, and it can even take a drink from your uh, energy drink, from your canteen, and that'll basically just boost your uh, stamina right back up to maximum. So there we go. So the BTs are to our right. The dead ones over there are quite far away, so we're gonna move over to the left a little bit. Just careful not to make too much noise. The main idea is to not panic. Don't worry about your equipment too much. Your cargo still has 100% to, to burn through, and it takes quite a long time for that to actually happen. So don't panic about your uh, equipment. That's what the game wants you to do. They want you to be worried about your uh, your cargo, but don't worry about it. But yeah, if you want to make sure uh, you're moving at the appropriate speed, you can hold your breath as much as possible. If you're that worried. But I'm moving my stick as slowly as possible to get past these BTs. And because it's on hard mode, it's obviously a lot more difficult than it is on any other difficulty. Because they're more sensitive to your location. So hold your breath when you're getting past these areas. It's flashing orange now, but I'm not panicking. I'm still staying slowly. Going away. BT right in front of me now. Very tricky area. So your baby is actually crying right now, so it's panicking. Oh, I made a mistake of jumping there. There's another thing that happens as well. If they've heard you or spotted you or anything like that, you'll get this happening as well. But uh, again, don't panic. Make sure you hold your breath and make sure you move away from the area where you made that noise. And then once you do that, you'll be completely fine. So keep holding your breath because all that's trying to do right there is trying to search for you. But if you, as long as you stay calm and keep holding your breath, get past these areas, you'll be completely fine. If they, that does thing manage to find you when that stuff's splatting out the ground, which is the uh, the, the oils, then uh, what will happen is you'll get a bunch of uh, BTs dragging you down. And if they do manage to drag you down after you run, you run out of stamina, uh, that's when a little mini boss will come along. So we're now the worst the BTs are behind us, and now we can complete our objective. And that's basically how you get past your BTs. And uh, overall, that's one of the hardest parts to get through, especially at the start of the game when you haven't got any equipment to fight them. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you found that a little bit useful, got a bit more advice and tips out of that, and uh, you've learned something new. So hopefully I've helped you out there. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this content, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, feel free to drop a like on this video. I am planning to do more Death Stranding stuff in regards to traversing different areas of the, uh, the game. And I'm planning to do, I'll show you a little bit of a showcase as well. So stay tuned for that if you are interested. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.